transatlantic fantastic i bet they didn't teach this story at school or in the history books because i was like how did i not know about this story how amazing oh my word let's discuss hello good people thanks for joining me again my name is Anne, and on my channel i review foreign international content i like to say we travel around the world sitting on our couches how fun is that and we have conquered that one inch subtitle and we have diversified what we watch we're learning culture and food oh my word i hope you have your passport let's hi go. guys thanks for joining me again if you're new to my channel welcome 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 my name is Anne, and on my channel i review foreign international content uh, today I'm back to review Transatlantic. It dropped this weekend, or is it Friday? And oh, I binge watch. It was so good. And the fact that it was based on our true story, obviously there's some fiction in there, but it was just so fantastic. Oh, and by the way, happy Easter, everybody. Hopefully everybody had an excellent day. But I had to jump on here and say you have to add this one uh, on your viewing list. Because first of all, speaking of foreign and international shows, this is so international. The diverse cast was fantastic. I and mean, we're talking Americans. I think there was Africans, there was French, uh, Australians, I think, even the directors, even the whole cast. It was just a whole blend of international work. Just fantastic. I believe the directors are from Australia is what I heard. Um, there was the lady who wrote the book. Is she German? And then the person who turned uh, the book into the show is an American producer or writer, is what I saw. They have a whole um, half hour showing the making of the Transatlantic and it was just so fantastic. Uh, so the story really is loosely based out of a journalist called uh, Varian Fry. He was um, given the job by America to come to Europe during the time when Hitler, German, was taking over the world, they had just conquered France. So he was sent to France to see if um, he can save people. There was a special committee that was set up that was funded to help see if they can help Jewish people out of France, you know, save them and bring them to America. Now it was very strategic, they were really looking for the crime of the de crime. You know what I'm talking about? Like this rich, you know, talented people is who the Americans wanted first, right? If we can save any Jews, you know, the artists, I don't know, musicians or whatever they were, or just rich people who, you know, that you felt like they would be upstanding and would be a value to United States is who they wanted. And so they sent him uh, to France and he's trying to save as many people as he could. And oh my God, like it was really, I loved what I think one of the producers, the director who described it as when they made this show, they wanted to portray a little bit different. I think we've all seen a lot of movies or uh, shows of World War and you can, you know how grim and dark it can be. She wanted to kind of create more of a, a light. So really this uh, show is very beautifully shot. I mean, it's gorgeous. The shots are just gorgeous. So really, I loved how she described it. She says to me, I wanted to create almost like you are having a nightmare in paradise, right? Meaning it's so beautiful and you're in France and all this, you know, um, beautiful buildings and rich people. But in the middle of all this, Germany is attacking France and the Jews, are, you know, are being killed. They're pretty much being massacred and he's trying to save all these people. We have the Germans coming in. You got the French. There's a French police on here. And I'm just like, wow. I mean, he was crazy. He was almost like, he felt like, well, if we can get rid of them, I don't care. Because to me, that is less problems for me. Almost like rejects. On the other hand, the Germans were like, no, we want all the Jews. We want them all deported back to Germany so they can be killed, right? And the French guy was just like, I really don't care. If you want to take them, take them. Or if they disappear to the U.S., they go to the U.S., but as long as it's not my problem, not a French problem, right? So that was interesting to see. 
And then obviously they introduced the character of Mary Jane. Now Mary Jane is a rich girl whose daddy is funding her fun in Paris. She hears about this and sees what's going on. And she's like, I wonder how I can help, right? And I love the one line in the show where she goes, a lot of people think that they can't do anything, so they just don't do anything. And she's like, I can do something. What can I do with this money that my dad has given me? What can I do, right? So she used her money to try uh, to use the resources and worked with uh, Freyan uh, to see how many people they can smuggle on the boats and get visas or whatever paperwork was needed or whatever was needed to um, get on the ship so they can go to America. And what makes it really interesting is the problem is the fact that after a while, her dad is like, look, you need to come back home to Chicago. You need to get married and settle down. You have until this time. And if you don't show up, I'm cutting you off. But girl over here is so involved in saving the Jews, she can't leave, right? And then you have to watch like, what does she do now if daddy cuts you off and we're depending on your money? Oh, it was so, so interesting. And then in the process of all of that, we have the, uh, the African brothers. Oh, I love them so much. Uh, his name was Paul and the actor's name is Rolf. He was fantastic with his brother and his brother Soyamin. Oh, the relationship was so wonderful. They were like your bellman uh, concierge in the hotel and um, they helped with the whole helping the Jews, saving the Jews. And I love the fact that he said, look, you know, for me, it's not hard to recognize my oppressor because they are white, I'm black. He knows what it's like to be judged based on your skin color. People want to hurt you, kill you, put you, be a slave. So when he and his brother were like, wow, they are trying to kill these Jews. Of course, we're going to help. And I was so surprised that we never hear about that in our history books or anything. Did anybody know that the French African helped Jews escape? Have you ever read anywhere in the books, anywhere? I'm just like, why don't we read about these things in history? Like the way sometimes the history books are so written, they're so tilted one way to make a certain race look always good and everybody else not so good. And I'm like, can we just write the truth about everybody, right? Like, so it was so interesting. Um, and then obviously they explore the relationship of uh, Mary Jane has a relationship with Albert who I loved. Um, so him and his sister really were trying to get out of France because they were German. He was a Jew and um, he was trying to escape to go obviously to the US. Him and his sister had lost pretty much their parents, their other siblings. And for him, really, he had the most reason to get out. And he uh, helps his sister to get out and he says, I'm coming, you know, I'll follow you. But he gets so involved and with Mary Jane and everybody else who's trying to save everybody in France that he's like, I can't leave. I need, it was almost like, I don't know if you ever watched Schindler's List where it was like, we can get more, we can get more. How many more can we save? No, I'm not leaving. What else can I do? Right? It was, it was so, so interesting. So have uh, Patterson who's being played by Corey Stroll, uh, who's an American actor. He's supposed to be the uh, American ambassador, I believe. He's the one who issues out the visas. But I was just like, he was so out for himself. He is here for capitalism. AMC is trying to set up movies or whatever in Germany. And he's like, how can I be involved? And really did not care. I, I really was like, this is sometimes, this is so unfortunate. The person who has the most power doesn't get it. I'm like, do you know how many people you could have saved? And now that we know the whole story about what happened to the Jews, I bet you if he sat there and was like, wow, I could have done more with the power that I had because he could have helped so many people. And he was just so out looking for himself that it was a little like sad, like disappointing, like, come on, dude, right? Like, just come on. When Fran is like, come on, we can do more. He just became the obstacle. And you have to keep watching, but you have to see uh, Freyan, they do explore about homosexuality in this era. And apparently it's based on a true story. So um, it's not a secret that Fran did have a relationship with men. 
So he's almost obviously involved with the gentleman in this show. And the fact that Patterson used that against him, I was like, wow. And then the fact that Fran had to struggle in the fact that he was a married man, but he also has a male lover. And it's like, what do you choose? What's your heart or what society expects you to be? That struggle was so heartbreaking to watch. Like, wow. And the fact that, you know, we've come a long way. We're not there yet. But still, in those days, it was even 10 times, 100 times worse. And then in the middle of a war and, oh, world, the whole world is a war. It was just crazy. So just a fantastic show. The, uh, the cast is rich, exciting. I mean, it's just like watching all people from different races, different walks of life coming together for the better good. It just leaves you feeling like, wow, when humans decide to come together and leave all the other stuff, you know, race, da -da -da -da, class, whatever that is, you know, sexuality, you can, human beings can do great, great things. But I have to jump on here and say, you have to do yourself a favor and add this to your list. Uh, Transatlantic, it's on Netflix and it's just fantastic. It's so visually um, pleasing. However, what they are going through and what's going on, it's interesting. The costuming, there's one scene where they're kind of having like a dance and the costuming was just crazy. Like Mary Jane is wearing this hat that has a shoe on top and I'm like, this artist has definitely, like it was so out there. It was crazy, but it worked. It was so much fun. Um, so anyway, just a really fantastic show. Have you watched? What did you think? But definitely one that is worth uh, adding to our list. Um, Once again, thank you so much for joining me. Please drop me a comment. Let me know what you thought about it. If you do like my video, give me a like, subscribe. It does help to support my channel. And I'll see you next time. Deuces.